out with another one of these reactions to this. This is gonna be a little, well, this is creepy. It's certainly creepy as things caught on security cameras. So uh, like I said, it's a little something different we're doing, trying to mix in with our yeah. music reactions that way. Yeah. You know, get a little something different. Um, not everybody wants to hear. Yeah, not music. everybody wants to hear music. Like we do. Yeah. All the time. But I always watch things like this anyway on my spare time. Oh yeah. Uh, they're always fun to watch, <laughs> I think. Yeah, for sure. Y'all make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, I got another channel called Keg. Make sure you do the th same thing over there. Yes. Um, most the flaunts. Most the flaunts. You ready to jump into it? Sure. It's a pretty long video, so let's go. Fact fiction. Shout out to fact fiction. Seven fact creepiest fiction. things caught on security cameras. Fact In this fiction. video, Fact Faction takes a look at seven CCTV feeds. We feature some of the creepiest occurrences ever recorded on camera, including the paranormal and plenty of horrified humans. <laughs> Get yourself prepared for poltergeist activity, unwelcome guests, and the alleged ghost of a small boy. Okay. okay. The Hernandez home. In August 2017, while Brianna Hernandez and her husband were dining on an evening meal, the latter of the pair spotted something spooky meandering across their property's security cameras. Meand First unnoticed by Brianna, her keen-eyed husband saw a floating figure. When interviewed, Brianna told reporters, quote, As soon as I saw it, my hair stood up. I've never seen anything like that before. What her husband had spotted seemed to be a human form drifting across the family driveway close to the couple's cars. Speaking to reporters, Brianna stated, you can see the movement of either arms or legs going with the body as it goes by. Yeah. Judging from the footage, her description is pretty accurate. Like, According to the testament like of the couple. Trace to it. Trace, trace, trace. <clears throat> yeah, like, trace to it. Like, yeah. It's not just solid, it's like. Yeah, it's almost like transparent, see-through it almost a little bit, but you can always tell it's almost like a, a, a nightgown or some kind of. Um, yeah, that or something, something like that. Yeah, that's what it kind of seems like. Long, okay. flowy dress. Well, That'd be pretty crazy to see on your security camera for sure. Uh, yeah, especially if you happen to look out there. There's uh, nothing there. You know what I mean? Yeah, you see a little fucking, uh, fucking nightgown, fucking walking across your yard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little trippy. Yeah. Just before the pair moved into the home, they had spoken to a man who was familiar with the property. This man told the twosome that his uncle had passed away while living in a nearby property. The couple believes that it may be this same man who they saw on CCTV. In the footage, the shape seems to be... Maybe he likes to wear nightgowns, I don't know. Maybe. Could be one of those ...skipping things. playfully across the screen with its blazing bright white shape. Although some viewers have shown staunch skepticism, the footage does look pretty creepy. Since speaking to local reporters, the couple have remained quiet on any future developments, and the identity of the original white figure remains unknown. I mean, I don't know nothing about CGI and shit like that, but, or just like, it's not, I'm not like CGI, but fucking, uh, what you call it, uh, Photoshop, Photoshop and shit like that. Yeah, I've never really, I'm not real too, uh, I mean, that's never really fucked with it. It really seemed like it was too... <laughs> It didn't yeah, seem I mean, like it was edited, as far as we could tell. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, it, it had that trace to it, like you, the figure just almost like not, a smear, a smear. Like a, leaving a little bit behind. Like just, exactly, it, yeah. almost yeah. like a, when a, when a, when a jet goes by in the sky, it leaves the, the smoke yeah. for a little while. That's kind of right what that after, was like. Almost like a tail of, or I don't know. But he could have been. You said he could have been. Uh, if he liked to wear nightgowns, he could have been the guy like a uh, the grandpa of uh, Willie Wonka. Yeah, there it is. Willie Wonka. Willie Wonka. Yeah, yeah, there it is. I don't remember the old fellow's name, but he definitely did wear one of those nightgowns. He rocked the nightgown. That's he what he wore rocked, that back in the day. He the rocked, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah he, he, he did. Been, he had the little hat. He with had the, the hat with the with the little fuzzy at the yeah, end yeah, of it. You know what I mean? Rocking it, rocking it like it was, you know, just rocking it. He was rocking. He was rocking. Just rocking it. Straight rocking. Hey, wait! I think did he even rock it up into the damn? But anyway, side track. I don't know. Carry on. Yeah, been, been many, 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 many years for him since I've seen that movie. It's true. The Reddit Stalker, number six. In August 2016, Reddit user named Fact and Now, I've always heard of Reddit. I mean, I've heard it. I've never like a, fucked with it, but. Like an app community kind of thing. Like, a, well, I wouldn't say it's like Facebook, but it's kind of sort of like a social media deal. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. 
Pressed, posted on the social media site to report that he had seen something sinister lurking outside of his home. The user had been utilizing a home security system named Vivint, which remotely connects smartphones to home CCTV cameras in order to tell users that someone is visiting their property. Over the course of three days, Fat and Depressed reported having received eight notifications of a person standing outside their home. Each notification occurred between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m., setting the incidents right in the dead of the night. On the first seven occasions, Fat and Depressed checked the live feed for activity, but was unable to see anything. The user... So I'm just going to go ahead and assume Fat and Depressed was the guy's username? Or... Yeah, 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 I would imagine. Yes. I just want to... <laughs> I mean, I guess, like, I, God, I guess I'm pretty sure they wouldn't just be like, okay. <laughs> this guy's Fat and Depressed. I'm just assuming so we're just, we're just Fat and Depressed. We should have called Fat and Depressed. Yeah. Like, it's fucked up. You know what I mean? It's fucked up. Yeah, I'd say that. Therefore, assume... I would imagine it's usually... <laughs> the problem to be a stray dog, or at worst, a prankster. On the eighth occasion, fat and depressed, discovered something particularly petrifying, and the user took to Reddit to report his discovery. In the picture accompanying the post he shared, the visiting vision is shown in all its gruesome glory. The frightening figure's face is set in a grin with heavily darkened eyes. According to fat and depressed, this is the visitor. Well, this looks like I, I, I was gonna say, gonna say look like some chick that's got uh, you been to a rock concert with heavy makeup. That's about all that looks like for me. I don't really look like a creepy, uh, creepy figure. Good God! That's uh, I mean, maybe you know, I, if there's really nobody there, then I could see. Yeah, let's take it back. Just, uh, I mean, I think Eighth occasion, fat and depressed, discovered something particularly petrifying, and the user took to Reddit to report his discovery. Petrifying. In the picture accompanying the post he shared, the visiting vision is shown in all its gruesome glory. The frightening figure's face is set in a grin with heavily darkened eyes. According to fat and depressed, this is the visitor who'd been lurking at his door. Having checked the timestamps for the four visits on this night, the user noticed something pretty strange. The uninvited guest had visited three times between 12.07 a.m. and 12.52 a.m., before then disappearing and re-emerging three hours later. Though the user has yet to receive another visit from his unwelcome guest, the king- That's just somebody pranking his ass. I was gonna say, almost like some chick that's okay. drunk or- It yeah, might not even be a chick, it almost looks like a dude. And it very well could be, yeah. It very well could be. It almost looks like a dude, he's got his arms like this or something. You know what I'm saying? You can't, fucking with dude because he's got a security camera. He's just leaning side. in like this and he's smiling, he's got makeup on, eyeliner on and shit. And it looks like he's got fucking shit to make him real pale. Uh, oh, yeah. Went to a rock concert, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's just bullshit right there. <laughs> remains an alarming enigma, and the mystery man's identity what? is yet to be revealed. Yeah. I mean, you can see the whole figure. Yeah, that's just, yeah, I don't know. Bullshit. The Chicago Creeper. In July 2016, Chicago woman Jordan Baranskas noticed that her purse had gone missing. Her boyfriend, Jack Mackercher, assumed that she'd left it in a local restaurant, leading the pair into a minor argument. In an attempt to find it, the pair retraced their steps and perused the security camera footage to work out where they'd managed to misplace it. Rewinding to 3.30 a.m. on a Monday morning, they found something which cleared of them the blame, but terrified them both. The freaky footage showed a hooded intruder standing at the top of their staircase, watching over their home as the couple slept on the living room couch. The couple owned two dogs who were softly sleeping at their feet. The undeterred intruder moved so quietly that even the dogs were inexplicably unalarmed. The footage shows the man standing still on the stairs while an episode of Mr. Robot plays on TV. Recalling the freaky footage, Baranskas told reporters he stood there for about five minutes the first time, then walked away, then came back and hovered over us again for another five minutes. The man is suspected to have carried out other neighborhood burglaries in the area. Other residents have... Fuck yeah, man. That's crazy. That is, that that's is crazy. crazy. Yeah. 
Fuck yeah. That's just correct. Dude just broke you in and watched you sleep while you sleep on your couch and you didn't even know it. Like you came in and out of your house and you didn't even know it. Can you imagine that feeling? I couldn't imagine it. I would trip the fuck out. Oh yeah. Especially if you found out afterwards. That's what I'm saying. You had yeah. no clue. Yeah. And whatever no the fuck. Idea. What did they say? I don't even have. What did they. The, the, her purse came up missing. That's right. And she was trying to figure out. They got into an argument. Yeah. So they, they got into the camp. They watched the camera footage. And seen that this motherfucker was standing at the yeah. top of the stairs for like 10 Broke minutes. Stole, to him. stole her purse and just sit there and watch him. That's a creep That's creep, creep, creep right there. Right it's almost like you're probably pondering on killing him or something. Or something. Jeez. Uh, you never know. That's, what the that's hell? Crazy. People are nuts, dude. You gotta watch out for some fucking crazy peeps. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Like I said, that would be a bad feeling. You know, I can, I can understand the feeling if you're... <laughs> Or even the thought, if you were, you know, an addict of some sort, to break in, take a purse. I get that. But to be standing over and watching that, that right there just adds another level of creep. Well, to like, it. I guess that's why it's on the creepiest shit. I, true. Very true. Because that was, that was creepy. Homeboy just sitting there staring at I him. I thought it, uh, yeah. I thought that was a little. Yeah. Posted images of the same man riding his bicycle, searching for properties to rob. The creeped out couple told reporters that they typically lock all of their doors before heading to bed. On this occasion, they'd accidentally fallen asleep in front of the TV, leaving their property atypically unsecure. In the footage, the robber appears to leave the property only after the TV credits start rolling, seemingly indulging in a casual session of TV time. The fate of the thief, nicknamed Creeper Ghost, Damn. remains unknown and local detectives are investigating the case. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, uh, that's crazy. You guys are waking up. The Creeper van. You guys are waking up seeing that motherfucker? You just lay down on the couch waking up see that motherfucker at the top of your steps like that? Oh. A heavy foot chase would have ensued. Ah, fuck. Shit. To my gun, I'd blow that motherfucker's head off, dude. That's true. He's in your house. You're damn right. You sitting there staring at you sleeping, dude? No, I'm not take that as a threat. It's Castle Wall, thank God. Bam. I mean, him just being in your house uninvited is a threat. Those are nuggets. Plain sent. Yeah, let's go. It's threatening your life. October 2017. Mother of three, Rochelle Hayek, posted CCTV footage on social media in order to alert other parents to a strange man in her neighborhood. The woman, from the UK city of Manchester, was sitting at home while her three children played on their garden trampoline. At around 2 p.m., a mysterious man in a white van stopped in front of their home, allegedly offering donuts to lure the children into his vehicle. In the footage, the eldest child, eight-year-old Sadie, is seen taking her six-year-old and two-year-old siblings inside the home. When their mother came out to confront the driver, he quickly sped away in order to avoid being caught. Oh, yeah. When speaking to reporters, Haig said, It was absolutely scary to watch, but I'm so proud of my Sadie for acting fast in this footage. Yeah, right, sure. She also claimed, When I approached this man, he acted weird and asked me if my kids wanted some donuts, then drove off. The incident is still under investigation, and the culprit is yet to be found. Kids want some fucking donuts. You creeping ass motherfucker come pull up in a van like that. That's ridiculous. It's made to hunt him down. <laughs> anyway, like anyway, yeah. 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 That's so, whatever. Anyway. Peeps. Peeps, man. Peeps. It's ridiculous. Back to the crazy people out there scenario. Yeah. Number three, Joe Cummings, CCTV. In a video posted on YouTube in 2009, a man named Joe Cummings shared CCTV footage captured in his kitchen. Joe set up cameras as he'd noticed food going missing from his home. In an attempt to solve the mystery, he tactically set up surveillance cameras around his Manhattan home and was alarmed by what he found. The unusual video shows a woman entering the man's kitchen via a small door close to the ceiling. So 
the odd intruder gradually clambers down onto the floor by moving fixtures and fittings. She climbs down in an odd and eerie fashion. He noticed his food was missing. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The weird woman that you. Well, that's sad that people are to that point to where they're gonna sneak in somebody's house. Yeah. And I'm sure the guy would probably, if you give him a for food, he'd probably be like, yeah, you know, I, I give him something. Yeah. But sneaking in. Sneaking. You know, you're desperate, man. You're sneaking in, stealing somebody's food. But on a regular, though, that's kind of crazy. That's even more crazy. It's more than once. in Joe's sink before opening his fridge and taking a big gulp from a carton. Oh, well, now it's fucked up. Oh, I see. Okay, I kind of felt sorry for it first, but now, now it's yeah, now he's up. pissed in his fucking sink. Yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> at least you can break in and use the pisser. You know what I mean? I mean, the bathroom. I mean, let's go, yeah, you're already in here. Go to the bathroom, at least. Uh, you know, well, every curtain. Yeah. I mean, hell. Clean up after yourself, wash your hands. Get some my sink. Take a drink or something. Get a cup. I don't want you in the house anyway. If you're going to do mean, it, do it right, right now. Please. I mean, come on, come man. on. Fuck, hell. People, no coof, man. No coof. <laughs> no she manus. continues to steal and eat food while seemingly watching TV. Halfway through the footage, the woman abruptly scurries across the screen as Joe, woken from his sleep, wanders into the kitchen to take some food for himself. Oh shit, he catch her ass? I don't know, does he? Oh, she probably scurries out of the way just where she's not hidden, or she is hidden. Oh, she's in there, and he's in there. Oh, shit, That's dude. even, and he over in the same fucking area where she was at. That's crazy. Does he get the same carton? Please tell me he doesn't drink Upon his departure, carton. the mystery woman emerges back into the frame to help herself to more morsels and meals. <laughs> no fucking, no fucks given. You gotta be kidding Zero me. fucks given with this chick. Wow. Ballsy. She then leaves the kitchen via the Jeez. same route she entered, climbing upon the table before making her eventual exit. What the fuck? I'm sure he was, uh... In footage captured the following morning, Joe can be God. seen swigging from the same carton oh. as his brash burglar. Oh. According to the update, the woman was homeless and had been living secretly in his apartment for at least a couple of weeks residing in the cramped quarters from which she crawled out of. Oh, Once coming in the CCTV footage. That's I thought inside she was coming inside from, from outside. outside. She was living there. Oh my God. What the fuck? And this little fuck. Crazy. What is that? Like a ventilation hole? What is that? Uh, is that above the fridge? No, I, the how fridge. big, how big is, is that area right there? Is it uh, is it just this little area? Does it oh, expand okay. a little further? Like this? she's she's climbing up into this little hole right here above the fridge. It's so, almost like duck where the duck. It's but, it's a, but it's don't have any cover over. It. She's able to just go in and out of it. It's kind of weird. She's living in this little. That's weird. But the thing is, is how does he not know this? Well, how, I mean, look, look how sneaky the bitch is. She's, she's on the snake snake. Well, she's, you think your shit was haunted or something, dude. That's true. Like, how she you went walking in the motherfucking kitchen and shit. She, she was there. She was there. He didn't even know it. What the I had no fuck? clue. Swigging out the same shit the next morning. So, now, chances sucks. are she's probably been showering and everything. Oh, dude, when he's everything. gone. Everything. Dude, he's got... she's been living it up when he's gone. That was how he's sleeping. She had, she had the love pad for a while. She was not. Can you imagine this dude? <laughs> He's probably he tripping is. the fuck out like, man. <laughs> like, finding hair everywhere. No wonder my bills <laughs> went up. What the fuck? My water bill is fucking ridiculous. I don't understand. It's just me here. There's nobody else there? What drastically went up last month. Now that's Shit. crazy because I didn't get that part. I didn't catch that she was living in that bitch in that little cool. Cubby fucking Fuck, hole. Dude, that's crazy as shit. In the wall there. And, uh, 
I thought she was. I thought that was some kind of window she was getting into. It was something, some kind of air duct that she had access to on the other side, from the outside, or, or something is what I was thinking. But that's what I was thinking. But it's obviously a not. It's just it's little, a little cubby hole. That's where she was like, all right. She what, snuck in there the one fuck, day. And was like, how the fuck did she get in from the get? You know what I mean? So how did she get in and locate this cubby? She had to be had access for this motherfucker for quite a while to find. Hell, this maybe, cup. maybe, 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 maybe he fucking bought the place and and while she, it was fucking while it was fucking being for sale and empty. And she was she was up in there living. She was and he came in cup. and she just stayed. She was doing some cubbing. and she was living nice when he came in eating all his food. He's like, what the fuck? Shit. I, watching his TV. Wow, that's fucking she's like, crazy. man, I'm glad you got here. I got cable now. <laughs> Run a water cable. Good to go. I got a shower. I gotta go. I ain't got nowhere to go. What are you talking about? I ain't got nowhere how to else? Leave. How else? If you didn't notice, notice, noticeably, unless she's stuck in a window, unlocked window, something like that. I guess. I don't know, man. That's just crazy. That's mind blowing. Makes you makes you definitely want to check your shit. Check your cam. Yeah. Like, <laughs> damn, what's going on while you're while you're sleeping and ain't at the house? Dude. Damn. I want to go over and check my shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Look, check my shit too. He contacted police, and the woman was arrested. In March 2018, Joe Cummings left an update on his video, claiming that he has additional lost footage of the woman, which he'll be releasing soon. A link to his channel we'll is in the description. Oh, so I guess at the time of this video, he was supposed to be releasing something yeah. else. So, number two, Antique Center Haunting. A UK antique store in Barnsley, South Yorkshire, has allegedly been experiencing phantom phenomena since 2014. Phantom. The owner of the store has reportedly witnessed over 50 unexplainable events since taking charge of the business. Yeah. The incidents, which occurred both by night and during the day, have included a bunch of hair-raising happenings and hauntings. In one incident, a rocking horse was recorded moving of its own accord before falling off a store shelf. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, here it is. See, the owner has a. Now that's crazy. Now, these videos like this could be faked. A little strings, they, this they, and that, making it rock, and then jank, they could. jank it, and that's pulls true. Off. You know, so they could be faked. So you you can't really be like, oh, okay, well. I mean, but at the same time, if that is real, I mean, there's nothing in there that would make that all of a sudden start moving. No, that's true. You know, I mean, if there was, you figured if there was any kind of wind, something else in there would be blowing around. You would see evidence of that. Uh, you know what I mean? It, it just it could be or could not be. It's all about how you can't really be base it on this. But I, I, he said fifty different. I like to see they probably showed it more than just this one. Did you recreate Hopefully. the motion himself? But has had no success. Okay. Other incidents have included. Well, see, he said he, he said he just tried to recreate the motion for the. He put it back up on the shelf and tried to recreate the motion. Yeah, but he and, it, and he wasn't success. able to able to do it. So, I mean that that could lead to something. You know what I mean? That could mean something if he tried to recreate it. You know, yeah. if it had a string, you wouldn't have to try it. Yeah. Or if it could be all bullshit. I mean, anyway, whatever. Framed photographs moving of their own volition and a cabinet seemingly exploding. Oh, Books, see. figurines, and skateboards have also been spotted moving unaided. In another see. incident, the 11 year old daughter of the owner entered the basement before dude it looks like it, it looks like it, it looks exploded like it exploded from the inside from, like it was inside it, it was just it would have to it would have to because if not if it got hit you wouldn't you wouldn't front, see it as would much. not blow that far you out you wouldn't see it as much you'd see some glass fall but you would the majority would be the majority inside. would just go would inside, inside or inside. fall down yeah it, it came out fucking like exploded out, out. yeah like she said she did dude, she said it exploded that. yeah check that shit's crazy it's rocking horse and took it back a little too far. Oh, yeah. Hey, what? That's right after this. The owner yeah. has attempted to recreate the motion himself, but has had no success. Yeah, it's crazy. Other incidents have included framed photographs moving of their own volition and a cabinet seemingly exploding. Look at Books, that. figurines, Light. and skateboards have also Just been exploded. spotted moving unaided. That's In so another crazy. incident, the 11-year-old daughter of the owner 
entered the basement before running out screaming in a state of panic. In an interview, the owner told reporters, they do say that the mill owner who worked on the old mill in the 1800s died here. He hanged himself in the 1960s apparently, just five steps away from where we are right now. Some speculate that the haunted happenings may be the result of a poltergeist or dead children. Paranormal investigators tasked with exploring the ongoings concluded differently. They believe that the ghost of an unidentified homeless man has orchestrated the eerie events. Allegedly, this man, when alive, would routinely wander into the graveyard upon which the shop was built. However, the actual identity of this alleged man remains unknown, as does the origin of the horrifying happenings. Man, this random things. We talk about shit falling down. Number one. I mean, that was good. That was that was pretty wild. That was a lot of different. Uh, a lot of different happenings. Down dead. Something's going on. They either... There's too much shit like that that does go on that's not fake for it not to be. Yeah. Something that's, you know, actually happened or could happen in the right right circumstances. Man. Yeah. New York illustrator Adam Ellis has been regularly updating his Twitter since August 2017 to report upon terrifying events occurring in his apartment. Mm. Allegedly haunted by a ghost he'd first seen in his dreams. He reportedly receives visits from the that ghost of a young great. boy with a misshapen head. What makes this case most curious of all is that it currently is ongoing. The first time he saw the boy in a dream, Ellis had reportedly been suffering from sleep paralysis. He saw the child sitting in the rocking chair at the foot of his bed. The child's head reportedly had a large dent on... That sleep, sleep paralysis shit, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's I've it. seen some uh, some movies with, where that's the... It's just like you're paralyzed. It's like you feel like you cannot get up. Like you're asleep, you're, you're, wide, you're yeah. awake, but you cannot get up. Just straight, can't move. Just cannot move. And I feel like I've had that happen to me before. I don't know if I was dreaming or if it really happened. Yeah, that's a, that's uh, a it was horrible, a, horrible feeling. But, yeah. Horrible. Sleep. Like, if, like if you're having a nightmare, let's say you're drowning. That's what I felt like, like it was, was a nightmare. I felt like, and I felt like something was coming at me, but I could not get up to do anything about it. That's it. Sleep that's paralysis. What, I don't know. That's but it. yeah, that's, pretty, that's real shit. That's crazy it's shit. Movie, movie cuisine. Movie cuisine. One side. He then reported that the boy stood up and shambled towards him. Just as he was about to reach shit. Alice's bed, he awoke screaming. Alice shared the vision he'd seen by drawing a picture of the alleged apparition and posting it online. In a later dream, Ellis encountered a girl in a library who asked him, You've seen Dear David, haven't you? The girl told Ellis that Dear David appears at midnight in the form of a small boy. According to this girl, David allows dreamers to ask two questions. If they ask a third, he kills them. Alice's dreams continued in various forms before seemingly crossing over into reality. The dreams stopped for a while before Alice moved into a new apartment. His cats then began exhibiting bizarre behavior, gathering at the front door at midnight for four consecutive nights. During this period, they would stare at the door as if something was on the other side. On one of these evenings, Alice looked through the peephole and saw something move. His cats continued to demonstrate the same odd behavior. Ellis then took a photograph through the peephole. This photograph showed a shape lurking on the stairs outside of his apartment. In order to investigate further, Ellis used a sleeping app to see if he could pick up on any suspicious sounds. This app works by detecting noises made during the night. What he found was vague but included static electric noises, along with strange snapping sounds. On another occasion, Ellis awoke as his whole house was shaking. His fear growing greater, Ellis bought a motion sensor camera for while he was away from his apartment. This camera caught footage of his cats behaving strangely, as if watching invisible beings move and meander through the apartment.
One of the videos showed a cat perched upon its hind legs and peering around the room. Some other footage recorded a household decoration slipping and dropping from its place on the wall. Ellis's dreams began to reoccur and become more disturbing. In one dream, David clambered toward Ellis before coming face to face with him. In the dream, Ellis snapped some photographs. When awake, he then checked his camera and found what appeared to be images of David with his half-dented head. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see that shit, man. That's, uh... Nah, that's a little creepy. That's, uh... Um, that's, that. cre that's creep creep. Damn. Ellis then took further uh, creepy photographs, which clearly bit. showed David sitting upright in the apartment. These images also showed him staring at the ceiling and standing over Ellis as he slept. The, the final picture of this sequence is an extreme close-up of David, showing only his hair on the top of his head. Ah, Ellis continues to update his Twitter with current Dang. ongoings. Most recently, he discovered small footprints in the snow outside of his apartment. Ellis recently had another dream in early January to... He might have little kids living in his house, I don't know about He could, he very well could. <laughs> kind of like that last video. <laughs> a little, little, little David over uh, creeping in the, uh, in the old cubby. Maybe. No. A little cubby creeping. 2018 of David crashing down from the ceiling onto his chest. A photograph taken by Ellis shows David falling from the ceiling. As of January 2018, the updates continue. And there you. Well, that's uh, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. I sure. wonder. I wonder what uh, oh, Ellis has got going on these days. Uh, yeah, See, I that's his last living up in that old apartment. Because uh, uh, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's was uh, definitely uh, having on a regular right there. I don't think I'd be up in there. No, not if you. Uh, but it's just but it wasn't even. But it was started happening before he was there, right? I think so. Yeah, that's where, that's where he ran into somebody. Yeah, yeah, that started in that dream. Yeah. Before he went, Before to, that he went to that apartment. Yes, yeah, so they moved to a new yeah. one, so it didn't matter. It sounded like yeah. uh, Sir Ellis is cursed by many days. Hey, little many days in there. But uh, yeah, hopefully y'all like that. That was yeah. that was cool. That was different for sure. Uh, Definitely something with the creep creep. Yeah, now that one. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. That that last one was was pretty crazy. But the chick in the cubby. Yep, that's the chick in the cubby that, that was. was nice. And the one at the beginning, uh, whatever one it was, and the dude was just staring at him. Yes. In and the house. hoodie staring over, staring watching him, sleep. Just the feeling of that, oh my goodness. That, uh, yeah, that'll, that'll make you The feeling it. of seeing that after that occurred, and you had no fucking idea, mm -hmm. would just creep me the hell out. Yeah. Like, I'd be sleeping with a gun close to me, fucking, you know, making sure my fucking house is locked up like Fort Knox. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like extra, go out and purchase extra, extra barricades. <laughs> yeah, something, dude. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Screw lock, screw lock your windows. You know. Yeah, right? yeah. Drill your windows shut. Looking all paranoid and shit. Put tin full over the windows. <laughs> Open the door. You're wearing a tin full hat. And all that shit. <laughs> Fuck with it. <laughs> Fuck with it. Uh, anyway, yeah, hopefully y'all like that, enjoyed that. Like I said, we're going to start sprinkling these in with our, our music reactions here and there, you know. Uh, try to give y'all a little different content to watch, for sure. We're going to try to act like a tree and branch out, you know what I mean? Yeah, go branch out a little bit. Branching out. Yeah, branching on out. But, uh, yeah, like I said, y'all like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Do all that. Go do the same thing at my channel, Keg. That's and, right. And uh, most of all, y'all ride with us. Peace. Peace.